This is flagging into and out of position or between positions, where we're going to use a singular foothold to make several hand movements and treat one foot position as though it was on both sides of our body by flagging that progressing foot. Let's familiarize ourselves with that by getting on the wall. We're going to be hands on some decent holds. Foot is going to stay on the floor, so we're going to get as close to the wall as you are comfortable on here. What I want to do is I want to transfer my weight between hand holds as always going to release one hand and grab to the next hold. So if I want to stay on the right hand and go up with my left, I got my left foot placed here close to the wall. And what I want to do is I want to go ahead and have my right foot flag. It's going to be quite far out here. This is a pretty comfortable stance, right? I can take my left hand off. If I try to take my right hand off in the same position, we just bar and door straight out. So what I've got to do, rather than match feet here, is find a flagged position for my right foot. And that's going to happen to try to transfer the weight to this side, so we're naturally going to back flag out here. And again, if I try to keep this position for just the right hand, we just bar and door and swing off there. So what we're looking to do is be on this position, and right hand, left hand. Right hand, left hand. Just waiting back and forth as opposed to this little switch. Right? Because if this foothold is not the entire floor, I've got to look at it, be precise. If it is a precise foot switch, and I'm going to be on, say, this hold. I've got to load my fingers an awful lot because I can't do, there's not enough space for this little stepping. So, I, so several little times I have to step my foot into position. I'm coming up on my fingers. I'm pulling on them to release tension off that tensioned foot here and be able to set the progressing foot into a proper position. So I'm under tension at a higher amount of tension for longer. So we're going to go with that just efficient stride back and forth and treat these footholds as well as they're on either side of my body by flagging. One nice little advantage as well, if you notice while I'm doing this flag, let's go ahead and get the right foot on there, we'll just flag with the left foot, is if I want to load the right, I'm not looking at my foot here. I don't need to, I can intuit exactly where it needs to go, so I can be very focused on a hand motion that's dynamic, where I'm simply going to grab up into it without having to think about that foot switch first, or if it needs to happen simultaneously with the hand position, it's hard to stare at obviously those two objects at the same time. So I don't need to focus on my feet as much. I can simply swing into the intuitive position until I'm ready to release. So especially useful on on sighting and any time where that time and tension is real, real important, so steeper terrain. Let's go ahead and apply it to the wall. I'm gonna use these yellow footholds. We're just gonna go ahead and flag between some positions and move our hands pretty gradually. So from on here, I'm gonna start left foot on this. So if I wanna move my left hand, I'm gonna be on my right hand with this flag. There we go. Back flag, flag, back flag. So I'm just flagging into and back out of that position into a new position. So effectively between some positions here. Let's go ahead and switch feet on here and just keep repeating that process. So load it on the left hand, load it on the right, load it on the left hand, load it on the right. And this is as opposed to if I were on this wall. If I want to go up left hand, I now need to and then look back down. So especially inefficient if I've got to use the same small precise foothold for several upward movements. So let's go ahead and connect that a little bit better, try to acquire that skill a bit further. So rather than very discreetly move that way, we want to go ahead and flag, move, flag, move a little bit faster. So come down here. So you'll notice my foot is still traveling while I'm going to make that next motion because I don't need to necessarily get the perfect balance point. I want to use that foot to help generate, but just that flow there, right? Kept the foot in one exact position, making these quick sequences. So let's set even faster here.
opposed to if I try to switch my feet here. integrate this movement there's a really big advantage to this flagging between positions and that's especially when the weight needs to shift suddenly between hand positions so what I want you to do is set up with rather than this simple line we're gonna be crossing in an out of position so it's gonna make it to where when I grab out here I don't want to rotate off so we need to change that flag in the middle of it so that looks like is Whereas with that, if I try that cross, I'm gonna have to, if I don't wanna fly across there and switch feet instead. Now I'm gonna rotate a lot, get this foot in a weird position, and then flag out. And if I wanna go up again, I've gotta switch feet again a little bit awkwardly. So once more integrating that, I'm just gonna go ahead and we'll go up this side, this way. in line with that. 